Hi there, I'm Ross Woodfield. Welcome to Blackhawk Global's Daily Market Update. The big news over the weekend was of course the US non-farm payroll data, which saw volatility across most markets. The US dollar was up strongly on the result, which came in much higher than expected. The US economy added 321,000 jobs in the month of November, compared to 228,000 the market had expected. Last month's result was also revised upwards by almost 30,000. This is a very strong result and underpins our bullish sentiment on the US dollar at the moment. And looking at the pound, and it had a rough end to the week as the exceptional non-farm results saw it break lower. The, uh, the week had started off relatively well for the pound as the manufacturing and services PMIs both beat forecasts. The services PMI is the one to take note of as it represents over 80% of the British economy. It rose strongly from 56.2 to 58.6. And the pound could not sustain the strength, however, as the bears pushed it through the strong support level at 155.87. The breakout is one of our picks of the week, as a pullback to the 155.87 level would be a good selling signal uh, before a strong rejection downwards. And looking now at the Aussie dollar, and had, it's been a big move already this week, as it posted a fresh four-year low on the open this morning. However, it's managed to find support already. The Chinese trade balance has come in strongly at 54.5 billion, well above market estimates of 43.1 billion. The Aussie has another big week ahead with business and consumer confidence figures tomorrow and employment figures due on Thursday. The Australian economy has been a bit lacklustre lately, so I don't expect anything impressive from the employment figures. And that's all we have time for today. For Black Hole Global, I'm Ross Woodfield. Thanks for watching.